Okay, this thing is like maybe a banana squash, not sure. But it's a pretty good size squashy squash. <laughs> okay. Some mac and cheese, yum. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna cut it open, scoop it out. We're gonna bake it at 375 for who knows how long, and then we'll go from there. Okay, we managed to hack it in half. It's the side that was laying on the ground as it was uh, ripening. <laughs> this thing is really big. Uh, we'll get all the seeds out. We think they might be something heirloom, maybe. Seeds are pretty big. They're like a pumpkin seed, but they're real thick, like triple thick. Definitely gonna keep those. We're gonna get these cut in half as best we can this way. We'll scoop everything out. And then, again, the oven's preheating right now. Okay, that one squash yielded this entire thing of seeds. We're gonna clean them up. But before we get this going, which we'll be putting some olive oil on top of them, we're just gonna bake them down for like uh, prepping soups and purees. I'm gonna take a spoon and scrape, kind of like what you would with a pumpkin, like a jack-o'-lantern, if you're prepping one. I'm gonna sc scrape this loose stuff off, um, and then then I'll throw it in at 375 for, you know, squashes, just until you remember they're in there. So just kind of kind of clean them up like this, take this junk off. Again, we're not gonna really eat these. We're gonna use them for soups and things. So, yeah. Okay, they're in. Uh, we're gonna try 375 for 75 minutes. We'll take a peek in there. And there they are. Just brush the tops with oil and the insides with some oil. And uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, those were in for about 70 minutes and then I turned off the oven but I kept uh, I just kept them in there I just turned it all off and they sat in there for a little over an hour and I tried a little bit right there uh, it smells very sweet it tastes good I was surprised by how big it was how good it tasted so uh, we're gonna probably pull that all out and uh, probably gonna end up in soups and stuff so I don't know if we're going to uh, cube it or what, but it'll end up ultimately getting frozen. But that's, uh, that's what it was. It was pretty easy to do. So there's that.